this is ultimately where we want to get kids. They've got to understand syllable types first and syllable division principles. I'm going to show you how it all fits. But we're going to move to this flexible strategy for reading big words. And if any of you are, are, are familiar with the work of Anita Archer, Dr. Dr. Anita Archer and her work with multisyllabic words, this is very much based on her work and her research. So here are the steps. Um, for reading words with that flexible strategy. We're going to circle the prefixes and suffixes that we know. We're going to underline the vowel sounds in the, notice this, uncircled parts of the word. Uncircled parts of the word. And then we're going to read the word by parts, read the whole word, and flex the vowel sounds as needed to make it a real word. So we're going to do this together. I've got three words for you. Prevail, preponderance, presumptuous. We're going to start there. Let's do this together. So what's the first step? Circle the prefixes and suffixes. So I see a prefix I know right there. Will you circle that? I don't see a suffix I know. So now I'm going to go to step number two. Underline the what? Vowel sounds in the uncircled part of the word. So there's my vowel sound, A-I. So that's a long vowel, we know that. Okay, I can read this word by parts. I want you to notice that this is an open syllable. We're going to say E, and then we've got this long A, A. So we're gonna read it by parts, here we go. Pre, scoop under it, pre, veil. Good, now read the whole word, prevail. And that got reduced to a schwa, didn't it? Okay. So see how this is all starting to come together? Let's go to this next word. We're gonna look at this next word. Let's say we don't even know it. Let's find any prefixes we might know. Ah, there's one. See how this is teaching kids? We don't have to be intimidated. We can break this into parts. Any suffixes that we've learned? Ah, yes, we've learned that A and C E at the end of words, good. That leaves us with that base word. We're going, to cert, we're going to underline the vowels in the uncircled part of the words. So here we go. There's the first vowel. There's the second vowel. Now I'm going to notice something. Here's where we could do a little syllable division if we chose. Here's the, I'm just going to look at what's not the, the, the prefix and suffix that we've isolated. I want to just look at that base word. I'm noticing that it's a VCCV pattern. Do you see that? which then, because we've already practiced this hopefully in our syllable, syllable division strategies, that tells me that I'm going to divide that word between the N and the D. Okay, this is manageable now. It's like small little words that we're going to read, these little, these, these uh, word parts. So here we go, ready? Pre, pawn, der, Ants, okay. Preponderance, ah, preponderance. And you might have to model that for them. Here's how we say that word. Here's what gets reduced to schwa. Okay, let's do another one. Mark it. There's the pre. Suffixes, ah, there's us. Okay, step number two, underline the vowel sounds in the uncircled parts. I see two. A U and a U. All right. Let's just kind of look at that, what's left, because that since there's two, two vowel sounds in that uncircled part of the word, that means there's more than one syllable there. So we may need to think about where we're going to divide that. So this is actually a V C C C V pattern. Hopefully I didn't have too many C's in there. That's not a pattern that we went over. It's not as common. That's okay. Usually when you have that type of pattern where you're going to divide is either after the first C or after the second C. We'll try it here and see if we can get to the word. The goal is to get to the word. I don't have to have it divided perfectly as long as I can read the word. Okay, let's try it and, and loop under each syllable. Here we go. Pre, sump, because that vowel is not at the end. It's gonna be a short vowel sound. Ooh, that one is at the end, so chew us. Okay, let's try this. 
presumptuous. Ooh, what's that word? Presumptuous. All right, here's what you're going to do. You will see these three words. I'm gonna have you take a moment and mark those words using these very steps. Give it a try. <laughs> 